we're going to be doing it on Freud and pull on happiness. It's going to be happiness in a long uh, term way, right, rather than just short term. Um, it'll be philosophy, right? It is an advanced class, um, but feel free to try and communicate and try that the point of these classes are to express your opinion, right? We will read something in the beginning that might be a little harder, and then we're going to express our opinions. Okay? Um, also, um, for those of you that are interested in getting a premium account, right, there's several ways that you can do that. Um, that allows you to join the class earlier. Okay, looks like we've got uh, Marina. Oh, no, uh, looks like Marina left. Hmm. Okay, anyways, um, so the point of the class is that we are going to be able to express our opinions. They're a lot of fun if we get some thing, good cop topics uh, going and things to discuss. Um, and Freud, he should be fun as well. There we go, we've got uh, Shadish. Shadish, how are you? I'm fine, so. Perfect. Shridish, where are you from? I'm from India, sir. Oh, great. India. Okay, good. All right. Why are you learning English? Well, uh, well, my right now, my English is speaking is not very fluently, so just I try to get the approach to the pro level. Okay, well, that's good. That's good. And what, what do you do for work? Well, I am right now studying at the top university at India, at the IIT Delhi. Okay, great. That sounds good. That sounds good. That's good. And my major is aerospace engineering. Oh, aerospace engineering. That's great. That's good. And how far are you in your program? How, how long are you going? Well, I am right now doing it here, the MS program. Okay, good, good. The Master's of Science? Yeah. Great. Okay, well, good. I'm glad you're here. Let's see, then we've got Marina. Marina, how are you? Hi, I'm doing great, thank you. And Perfect. how are you? I can't complain, life is good. <laughs> good. Good, let's see, you, you've been in my class before, right? Yes, I've been once. Okay, class. yeah, I remember. What, what Do you remember what class it was? It was a uh, class about uh, um, crime. About crime, okay. speculated about crime. <laughs> Okay, well, perfect, good, okay. So how is life going for you? How are things? Uh, everything is doing great so far, thank you. Okay. Uh, I, I live in Vancouver now, so... Oh, in Vancouver, <laughs> that's right. Everything is great, yes. <laughs> good, how's the weather in Vancouver? Uh, hopefully it's good. Uh, yesterday and today are very su it's very sunny, mm -hmm. so... Not, li uh, not like as always, not raining. <laughs> Ah, oh, that's good. That's good. As long as it's not raining, right? Yes. <laughs> good. Good. Well, I'm glad you're here. We've got Brenda staying up late, right? Brenda. You sure, I'm here. How are hey, you? I'm good. Are you staying up late? What is that? <laughs> are you staying up late? Are you not going to bed? No, I'm stay. I I have to finish. The Perfect. Day. Good, 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 Brenda. <laughs> good. How was your day? It was tired, but it was okay. I I have a lot of things to do today, but I like the day. It's okay. Okay. What did you do? Um, for work. Yeah. Okay. I work uh, with uh, marketing things like uh, communication and the whole things. Right. But today I give like a discourse, this discourse uh, when you speak in front of other people. Okay, you gave a, a speech or a presentation? Ah, yeah, and I really like it. It oh, was good. exciting. Yeah. Good, good. I try to, to be perfect with that, but I need more practice. <laughs> but I like the, the intention. <laughs> well, that's good, that's good. I guess the. The only way to practice is to keep doing it, right? Yeah, yeah. but it's so nervous. <laughs> but, but it's okay. I, I like the experience. 
It's good. It's good. Good. And I'm glad you're here today. Let's see. Thank we've, you, teacher. We've got uh, Wolf. Wolf, how are you today? Fine. And you, Eric? I'm good. I can't complain. Uh, what, what time is it over there? It's around 9. 9 a.m. or p.m. Sorry? A.m. or p.m. In the morning or at night? In the morning. Around right, right, right. Nine, around this 9, yeah, almost. Great. Well, good. Okay. So, Wolfie, do you have any plans for today? Any plans? I don't know yet. You don't know yet. Okay. No. Not a specific plan. Okay. Well, that sounds pretty good. No specific plan. Good. Okay. Um, looks like we got kind of a smaller class today. That would be pretty good. Um, so, the plan today is that we are going to talk about uh, Freud. Now, Freud, um, he is not necessarily a philosopher. Many know, know him as a psychologist. He's a psychologist. But he did have several thoughts that can relate to, to philosophy, right? Um, and we're going to talk about some of his views on happiness today, okay? Uh, did everyone get his link, get the link for today? Oops, let me grab the link. Okay, so here's the link. Um, and let me go ahead and show you guys a picture of Freud. Okay, so here's good old Freud. We'll grab that picture, that's a nice one. He looks like he's unhappy with us talking about him. Okay, so. Um, he looks angry. Yeah, he does look angry. <laughs> he's not. A, he's. He doesn't like what we're going to talk about much. He. Um, does anyone know anything about Freud, Sigmund Freud? I'm sorry. Uh, philosopher, yeah. I think. Yeah. So um, he was a psychologist, That's but he right. had. Yes, a psychologist. Does anyone else know anything about him? No. I just okay. hear about that. Though. Okay, so um, he, when, when we talk about psychoanalysis, right, when um, psychotherapy, where you're going to lay down on a chair and you're going to tell a psychologist to solve your problems, he is one of those people that started that idea, started the movement, right, we're going to talk to people. And so he had several ideas about what it meant to be a human being and what we thought and what we believed. Now, he also was not very optimistic, right? Um, he believed that we, that long-term happiness, that us being happy was not easy, right? In fact, when he talked about um, psychotherapy, right, or psychoanalysis, when you went to a therapist or a psychologist, it wasn't to be happy, right? The goal was to return you from a, a messed up state to a state of normal normalcy, right, to be normal, right? But normal isn't happy, so it's just a normal unhappiness instead of a terrible unhappiness. So that was part of his opinion, okay? Um, but he, he, other than that, he he was a very good thinker, very deep thinker, and so we're going to actually look at some of this. So uh, let's go ahead and we're going to dive in. Okay, so can everyone see my screen? Um. Can you uh, more close that? Yes, screen? let's see. Uh, can I do that? Is that okay right there? Oops. Yeah, it's okay now. Okay, how about that? Is it okay? Yes. Okay, good. Okay, so I don't want to read all of this. There's a lot to read here, but I think what we'll do is I'm going to. Um, let's, let's do this. Can I have someone read, can I have a volunteer to 
read this sentence, and then you're gonna then we're gonna jump down and go a little further. So can someone read this sentence? Uh, I try. Please go ahead, Brenda. Okay, one feels inclined to say that the intention that mean that man should be happy is not to include in the plan of creation. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. So again, um, any questions about the that sentence, really quick, about the words before we jump? What does it mean? Uh, inclined. Good. Okay. Does anyone know what inclined means? Uh, is when the tendency is for that side. Perfect. Yes. So it's like a tendency, or I feel pressured to, or I feel like I need to. Right. Okay. Good. Yes. Yeah, so what he's saying is, is sometimes we, that it almost seems like that man. That everyone should not be happy. That, 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 well, okay, sorry. It seems like being happy is not be. part of our creation. Being happy is not part of why we are here. Okay? So, um, now we're going to jump down here um, and say. And happiness. Okay. Can I have. Brenda, can you keep reading down here to this part? Yes, sure. Okay, thank you. Okay. Well, happiness is much less difficult to experience. We are threatened three, three, threatened, threatened. Three, three, ten, with suffering from three directions. From our own body, which is doomed to decay and dissolution and which cannot mm. even do without pain. And anxiety, anxiety, and anxiety as warning signals from the external world, which may rage against against us with overwhelming and merciless. Good, forces. overwhelming and merciless. Merciless forces of destruction and finally from our relations to other men the suffering which comes from this last source is perhaps more painful to us than any other perfect perfect okay guys. any questions about these words doom 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 I don't know doom why. there's a Doomed. Yes. Yeah. So what is does anyone know what doomed means? Uh, maybe meant yes. to be or or designed to be to decay. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. So it meant to be or designed to do faded, but it's also it's a it's a sad thing, right? We are doomed. It is unfortunate that it is meant to happen. Okay. Good. Any other questions? Decay? Decay. All right. Does anyone know what decay is? Decay is uh, losing the. I mean, it's the lose the time period. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So decay is, is when things are falling apart, right? So yeah, falling, uh, when, falling apart. Yes, when a tree dies, it decays, or when when a body dies, it decays. Good. Okay. So we'll go back. Um, any other questions? Uh, what is the general uh, meaning of this paragraph? <laughs> okay, good. Yes, so we will get to reach that. So, what he's saying here is we have three problems, right? He says unhappiness is very easy, right? Where happiness is hard, unhappiness is very easy. And he says this is the reason for three reasons, okay? Um, the first one, okay, is that Our own body, right, is going to die. It's going to fall apart, right? And even with that, we also have to suffer pain and anxiety, right? So we suffer negative emotions and we're going to die. Um, then another, the second reason is from the world, things in the world, right? So 
things that will destroy us and that are bad for us and that hurt us. And then he said, finally, the third thing that stops us from being happy is other people, our relationship to other men, right? And he says, other people hurt us the most. And this, yes, and so he says, this is the most painful source, right? The, mo the, the biggest reason why lasting happiness is not possible. Okay? Does that make sense? Yeah. Perfect. Imad, good to see you. Thank you, Rick. It's my pleasure. Today I, yeah, I was able to attend this class. Yeah. Good. And then we've got uh, Samet as well. Welcome. You guys jumped in while I was reading. Okay, good. So, um, to discuss this here. So, again, Freud says about this, this question, can we be happy for a long time, right, more than just a, a small instance? He says, no, I don't think so, right? You may be able to eat your candy bar, or you might be able to have a good meal, or get a kiss from someone you love, but it's not going to last. You will not be happy in the long, for the long term. Okay? So I want to ask you guys that question. Do you agree with that? Or do you disagree? Okay, uh, I think it's correct. It's precise. Especially when you mentioned that uh, the suffering because we treat each other in a way that is make it harder to live. Mm -hmm. So our body meant to decay, yeah, designed to decay, yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's not our problem. Our problem is how we treat each other, make it harder to live right now. It's, it's, it's like now like living in jungle. Everyone is uh, looking for his own interests only and ready to destroy everything. Really, you are, you are like animals. You are killing each other, not physically, maybe mentally. Sometimes, uh, some, some people uh, control uh, the others, try to control, everyone try to control the other, the other people. This is why uh, it's hard to live. You are not uh, taking care of this point that you are meant to decay or uh, as he said, uh, doomed to decay. Mm -hmm. uh, we can't find happiness in, in any situation. So the best thing to consider about this three points is, uh, and we can't change it, that's how we treat each other. We can't change the way uh, our body designed to, and we can't change our uh, destiny. That may change it, but that's an we can change at least how we treat each other. If we solve this problem, it will be very nice. Some communities, which is very simple to live with, uh, it will be very easy to live in uh, some communities where you f find happiness, even if it's not that uh, complicated life. But if you take the, the practical uh, or the actual life that we are living right now, for me, I'm suffering because of the other people, not because of my body. Yeah. No, that, that's perfect, Emma. That's that's great. Yeah, maybe some of the other stuff we can't help, right? Um, I can't help that I'm going to die. That's a fact of nature, right? But people, yeah. it seems, that, yeah, we can, we can control that, right? And so maybe that's that's the one where it hurts the most because we want it to be different, and it can be different, but it hurts because it isn't different, maybe, right? Yeah, we are yeah. living like monkeys. Yeah, we yeah, are living like, like monkeys. Yeah jumping okay. around and falling off mm -hmm. and, and the first one will fall next the second one next the third one is because uh, of this fact yeah mm -hmm. good okay so um, Iman, if, if we didn't have other people would it be easier for long term happiness do you think people would be happy for you know a long time if it wasn't for other people uh, I, I don't mean to live solely in island, uh, in, in an isolated place. No, but I mean that if we live in a simple way, uh, at least to be uh, to to have that feeling, one feeling to each other, to each one, to each other. Mm -hmm. uh, if the community where we should speak honestly, uh, in any any big community, in any big city, you will notice that. People are fighting each other in a way that is not easy for each one of them to make anything. 
even the talented people get a uh, hard time because of uh, the community, not because of themselves. And the, the man who is making it from this community is really deserved to be uh, honored because it's really very, 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 very hard. But it's not easy. Okay, great, great, Mark. Okay. Um, anyone else? Does anyone else think that you agree with the fact that it's that those three things stop us from long-term happiness, or, or do they agree? What do you mean exactly? I think it's the point long-term. What do you mean long-term happiness? Okay, okay. So, good. Good question, Wolf. Um, again, it, it might be easy for me to be happy for a couple minutes, right? I can listen to a good song, I can eat some candy, I can go kiss my girlfriend, things like that, and that, that will make me happy. But can I be happy for several months without ever being unhappy? Can I just be unending happiness? Um, and th this is where Freud says, absolutely not. This will never happen that you will be happy for a long time. That long-term happiness is impossible. It's normal for you to be unhappy, right? So do you agree with that or disagree? It depends on the circumstances because, I mean, uh, uh, let me explain uh, in that way. Uh, mm -hmm. it, it's, it, take university exams. It's university exams is very important because when you uh, uh, enter the, I mean, I mean, try to enter the university, you need to take an exam. It, it's this exam is this exams is very important because it's uh, it seems to save your life, save your future because it's really is a life and that matter for you. But after mm -hmm. 10 years, if you look at the exam, it's, I mean, if you uh, pass the exam uh, in uh, after one day, you are really happy. But mm -hmm. if you look at the 10 years, after 10 years, you are not happy. It makes you just one day, but after 10 you save your life, but it's 10 years after you are not happy with that. It's not enough. I think it's the problem is uh, for long-term happiness, it's a problem. People, I mean, People get used to things, get used to things, and easily bored. It's uh, important, I think, if you want to be happy in the long term, you have to keep change the things. You have to, keep, I mean, you have to make, do different things. I don't know, scuba diving, another football games, and other things. If you keep the change, mm -hmm. you can be happy in a long term. Maybe it's a possible because people, I don't know, but look, uh, people would. Uh, can, you can um, uh, win the lottery. Uh, you in the first day after win the lottery, you are really maybe leap of joy. You are really you are really happy. Mm -hmm. But after maybe two years, after maybe five years, six years later, you used to it. I mean, maybe uh, you are not happy in the first day. If you compare in the first day when you win the lottery, is really, you are really happy. But after maybe mm -hmm. five or six years. You are not really happy as a first day. I mean, I think people, it's a, I don't know, it's, it's in, 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 in the long term, is a, a people, you have to, the, need, you need to do different things because mm -hmm. people easily get bored. Okay, well, that's, that, that's perfect, Wolf. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. And so, one, one, a small example also it came to my mind. Pur purchase consumer goods mm -hmm. makes you happy in your first day, second day. After maybe five months, six months later, you are easily get bored. No, that's very true. That's very true. And that's kind of what uh, capitalism works on, right? Is that, you know, you buy... Well, there's the two. What's that? Well, there's the two types. Well, I think the guy said that it's exactly quite true. Quite because we, when we do the same thing in a whole day, then we have a board with them, and then, then after that we feel that I'm not happy with that the particular. Well, generally the human tendency that the uh, every human feels that the other human's life is very happy as compared to us because generally we not f feel good as our life because we already bored with them. Oh, that, that's so good. That's good. Damage. Yeah, so yeah. not only, yeah. not only are we discontents, not only we're discontent, because, right? Yeah. 
because go government on, tendencies on. always compare our life with the others one like other, uh, our friends or someone else so when we compare our life with other one then we figure out that our life is little bit bored as compared to that create the unhappiness in our mind mm -hmm. and then oh. the happiness gone then after that that's good that's good, that's good. Yeah, ex exactly true especially is a, i mean life events changing happiness but if you look at uh, marriage in a first people when get married in a first month is a call like a honeymoon but after 10 years maybe people uh, get got to divorce because they easily bored each other in a long term mm -hmm. you know something like that because even also important uh, I mean even in the holding important place in the in the society not just for media but for other events mm -hmm. but that's Brenda, go ahead. Well, but I think that but I think that the if we a man anyone can be happy throughout the life if they can control on their desires because everyone when we compare with someone else or we not control our desire desire like like means that if uh, we saw on a just like the beggar man or even a saint at around at here then we figure out that the person they don't have money even they on the road but still their happiness as compared to the person who have the very rich person so sometimes i think that there is a little bit to control our desires to getting something that which can't can't be afforded by a person or anything else something that's like good, that apparently uh, you can say something yes teacher i i have this point mm -hmm. i believe the concept of happy is very um different for the people for example maybe some things make me feel more happy than other things make you feel more happy mm -hmm. and I believe when you want to be happy for the long time it it, it doesn't work because uh, the life is composed for a lot of different things and you don't have to are happy always to do the whole things. I believe the real concept is like a wellness because this situation you can handle for a long time. Mm -hmm. When you are in a wellness, when you do the things to to go for the wellness and you are focused on that, the life is easier and you can enjoy the things and and you see ah this is difficult but i try you know mm -hmm. with another um concept if you want the happiness the happiness for me is only that moment is special but that moment is special you can go for this moment when you work a lot mm -hmm. to go for that moment okay because that feel is for me happy is when you feel oh my god this moment is amazing you know mm -hmm. but it's it's not possible when you when you are um doing other things because you have to go into a difficult situations and resolve problems and the whole of that that kind of things and you need another kind of things to resolve that and for me happy is only a concept for these value moments but no is the the perfect idea to live you know because you suffer a lot when you don't give that what do you want you know but if you see the life like a okay, I work, I do that, I I do my best for a healthy situation, um, the life is better, and you can enjoy each one thing you do in your life, each moment, you know. That uh, is it, my point. It, it is not happiness. It is just uh, you appreciate, you appreciate uh, 
I mean, I mean, it's this kind of deceiving yourself because how you gonna help you uh, if you couldn't uh, feed your kids, if you couldn't uh, afford to pay your uh, b your bills end of the month? If you, how, how you gonna help you with that problem? So okay, okay. We've, got, we've got some really good points you guys have made. Excellent points, right? So on one hand, um, you know, we're, we're we're unhappy because we're we're discontented right, with uh, things. I love pizza, but if I eat one piece of pizza, it makes me feel great. Two pieces of pizza, I'm still good. Three, I'm slowing down. Four. Uh, it's not as good. Five. I'm getting six, seven. Right. So, right. So definitely too much of a good thing, right, will not make us happy, right? And then, you know, like Shanti said as well, um, we just keep wanting things too, right? Um, if, if we're never happy with things, it's just in the long term, then it, obviously we're not ever. It's not going to last, right? Again. So if I win a million dollars today, this is great. I'm super happy. But a year from now. I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to be as happy as I was that day I won it, right? Now, to, to play the devil's advocate, to play the other side, there is a benefit about us being that way, right? So if you think about it this way, um, if people, you know, if you get a, in an accident, right, and you have a paraplegic, meaning you can't use your legs, right? Yeah, it's terrible, it's horrible at first. But you get used to it, right? So it's you, you lose, you become sad, and then you return to normalcy, right? Same people people get divorced, right? Or they lose a friend that, that a friend dies or a family member dies. It's really, really sad, and then they get used to it, right? So that's that is a good thing. Maybe that says something that we can have a long term happiness, is because the bad things don't make us permanently unhappy. Right? In the same way that some good things don't make us permanently happy, there are some bad things that don't make us permanently sad. Right? So we, we have that option there as well. Right? Yeah, yeah but I, I think. Uh, yeah, okay, go. Go ahead. Go ahead, Wolf. Yeah, you are right, but I think. Uh, uh, what is the uh, best. Uh, I mean, what is the worst thing happened to you? I mean, what is the best thing happen to you? And and in in two cases, in two cases, and um, how much change your happiness is to you? And the worst things happen to your uh, happen to you, and best thing happen to you. And in in the both case, how much change your happiness? If if I think for me is a the worst thing in I mean I am not paralyzed, but because if you someone uh, want to paralyze uh, when it happens make people really unhappy, they make them depressed, they think their life over, but uh, but not like not, not that long. After one year people get used to their paralyzed, I mean after two years, and they uh, their happiness is a uh, step by step is increased. Also another point also you know do you understand because i mean you can easily bored because uh, you you get used to things mm -hmm. you can easily get bored in but if you compare it with worst case scenario for instance like i said you make um, you 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 will be uh, paralyzed but in the in the, in the in in the first month maybe first days first first a couple of months you can really depressed and you think the uh, over of your life but you can get used to it. You, you can get used to this. It mm -hmm. it it doesn't mean you easily get bored. It 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 increase your uh, happiness. Not really, but it's. I mean, mm -hmm. you can. I mean, it's increase mm -hmm. your happiness a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Good. Yes. Yes. You get used to things, and in some ways, you you can even make them better. That's good. That's good. Okay. Um, sorry. No, I mean just yeah. In a in a two way, I said you can. You, I mean you get used to things, easily mm -hmm. get bored. But mm -hmm. in the worst case, in, in in if in the worst case scenario, in a bad uh, in a position, maybe uh, getting used to things is uh, increase your happiness. 
No, that's true. That's true. Yeah, getting used to bad things can sometimes be a, a good thing, right? Um, there's sometimes it's good idea to have low expectations, right? To not expect good things to happen because then you won't be disappointed if they don't happen, right? I, I like the way through uh, uh, this uh, message tried to give a kind of heads up for people who uh, go far in passion and think that uh, or believe that they can uh, feel an incomplete happiness or inconstant happiness. Mm -hmm. uh, I, and this is, I think it's very healing for these people. And, uh, uh, but for the normal people, let's say if, if someone had something bad in his life and he lost his happiness for a moment, uh, we should take care, we should consider this point that everything is going to decay, doomed to decay, and the the other thing is sh should know that everyone is have his own woes and misfortunes and losses. So if you take a look on your round, you found that, okay, at least I'm living. You, you see that your, your disaster is not that bad. You see, you see that there is another disaster people living with their disasters and uh, su surviving. So sacrificing or from something is really, we are struggling in life. We are struggling in life. No one will live in that simple way. Uh, uh, so uh, the, the healing idea of everything is going to decay is very important. Mm -hmm. And it gives heads up for people who think that they are the only people in the world who is living the miserable, no, everyone is living in miserable, mm -hmm. but it's different. It, it will depend on, uh, on how and, and uh, on the way that you are living in this miserable. Maybe you don't know that miserable. You don't feel it right now. That, that's good. That's good. So kind of realistic, realistically um, facing some negative things is it, it, a good thing. So kind of a little bit like Brenda said, right, we have to approach it. We want wellness. We want to be healthy, you're reaching a flourishing state, so again, um, I guess what we can say is um, sometimes you, you don't want to say, listen, if you're sad, you need to be happy, right, because then it makes you sad because you're not happy. It makes it worse that you're not happy. Sometimes it's okay for you to suffer, right? That's okay, and it's healthy for you to suffer yeah. and be sad. Or, or, yeah, or in other words, I say, you are making it worse, or uh, you are making it difficult for yourself if you think that uh, you, you lost everything if because something bad happened to you. Life is in this in this way. I am passing a message for you. This idea that Freud tried to say, I think, is that everything is designed or doomed to decay. It's natural. It's it's everything is okay. But I think it's, it will be very hard if it's because of someone. Because we, when we cause suffer, if you suffer because of someone and this another one or some people hurt you, it will be very hard. It will take very long time to uh, heal from. Sometimes demand for uh, revenge or maybe disappointed. Sometimes angry. Maybe in simple words will cause you feel miserable. That is not maybe caused by. Uh, Losing your fortune, let's say. No, that, that, that's perfect. That's perfect. Yeah. So again, um, you want to have low expectations, right? Things are going to happen, and, and, and again, maybe because we expect to die or we expect to have problems in life, we can deal with it better. But like you said, people sometimes we expect better of them, and we should expect good things of people, but sometimes they they. They don't live up to those expectations, right? So again, I, yeah, exactly. Yeah, so I think yeah, it's okay. I told you to that. Work. Yeah, I told you about that desire. That means the expectation that sometimes the people have a lot more expectance from herself or himself. So if they don't get completed in the, then at that time they create the unhappiness in their life. And also that we are the, the human tendency to compare at the present with their past. So sometimes. That create the unhappiness because the com when we avoid the compare the things with others or with our past life, then I think we will be happy on long time. That's good. That's good. Yes. Yeah, so 
maybe maybe in some sense they're being happy. It, it's not easy. It's hard work, right? You have to work on controlling your desires. Yeah, yeah, yeah you have exactly. to work on, on on seeing the world in the right way, low expectations. But you know, sorry, you, if you if you are controlling your desire, it means restriction. If you restrict yourself, you're deceiving yourself. Basically, you are not happy just you are deceiving yourself. But what is the point in this? See, and th this is good, Wolf, because actually, if we were to talk more about Freud, he would say this is the exact reason why people are unhappy, because they're trying to control themselves. Half of them is trying to control themselves, and the other half wants to go out and, and cause a lot of trouble, and then you, didn't, you end up with a very frustrated person, because they want to control themselves, but part of them wants to, you know, go out and steal and have sex with everything, and, and so you have that tension. So that, yeah, that, that's interesting too. But the happiness related to a lot of things. You can just uh, put in a small box. I mean, happiness may be related to politics. Maybe some people really happy. For instance, take uh, I don't know George Bush. Or Obama, some people <laughs> support the George Bush, some people support uh, when their uh, candidates win the election, they are really happy. Or maybe football team, maybe other things. I think we are missing the point because low expectation is another issue, it's moral principles. We are, we are already, uh, I think is, we, we have to separate moral principles and happiness. Uh, I'm sorry, did you say moral principles? Yeah, moral yeah. Low, because low expectation is doesn't mean happiness. Low expectation is moral moral principles. We have to separate uh -huh. two, two two things because happiness is a different stuff. Is a moral principles is a different stuff. No, I think that that's good, right? Because maybe maybe it's you. Know, I might I might have a best friend, right? And it is not wrong for me to have high expectations that he will treat me well and not lie to me and be a best friend, right? I shouldn't have low expectations, right? I should have high moral expectations of someone that I trust, right? Yeah, okay. Is that what you're saying, Wolf, or no? No, no, you are right. You have, you have, to, you have to write to be uh, high expectation from your friends because why he's your friends? Why mm -hmm. you call him or she friends? Mm -hmm. No, that's is good. It, I mean, this is he, he or she, not stranger, is your friends. Mm -hmm. and, and two, I think, well, maybe maybe there's something to it about um, sometimes what, what is moral and what is right has nothing to do with happiness, right? It has nothing to do with being happy or making other people. It's just right without being involved with that, right? Okay, why would I keep my expectations less. What is the point? I, I guess, I mean, again, maybe keeping your expectations low is it like, um, you know, maybe I'm expecting that one of you guys will send me a hundred dollars, right? You guys are going, Eric is a wonderful teacher, I'm going to send him a hundred dollars, right? And I keep waiting for it, waiting for it, and no one does it, and then I feel terrible, right? Well, that was, that was silly of me to think that you guys would do that. I should have had lower expectations, right? Yeah, like ten dollars. <laughs> like ten dollars, exactly. I can expect that. That's okay. <laughs> it, it it is not really make you happy. Just I don't know. It's it's not really make you happy. Well, that, that's true. That's true. I might I might not say that. Um... But but if you I mean some people really uh, be happy with high expectation because high ex I think is happiness is signal of the uh, satisfaction mm -hmm. because some people really uh, happy with the high expectation because high expectations give them satisfaction. Satisfaction means them happiness. If you I if you I restrict my happiness, I mean if I keep my uh, desire or uh, expectation low, mm -hmm. I couldn't get a satisfaction. It means I wouldn't be happy in the end. 
Uh, can I talk? <laughs> Go ahead, Ashley. Yeah. Okay. Um, sorry for my voice. I just woke up. <laughs> uh, when having a uh, high expectation on someone, uh, maybe you got uh, disappointing uh, one day that he didn't make your expectation. So it's good to have a low expectation on everyone. So when you have uh, uh, something more than your expectation, you'll be happy. Mm -hmm. I think uh, maybe uh, I'm right. <laughs> OK, yeah, I, I, I think I agree with, with that. But I, I can see Wolfie's point, too, that, that maybe having high expectations um, for things, it's, it, it, I, I think I see what you're saying about satisfaction now. You know what I mean? You get it and you're satisfied and you expected it and all of it was enjoyable rather than thinking, it's not going to happen, it won't happen, right? Because you feel bad then, but, but maybe expecting it to happen, you feel good about it going to happen. Is that what you're saying, Wolf? Yeah. Okay, okay, that makes sense. That's good, that's good. Okay, guys, um, any other thoughts about long-term happiness? Okay, so let, let me ask this question here. Um, I want to talk about it maybe again. Maybe, maybe it's just hard work to have long-term happiness, and maybe some of us just are not very good at it, right? So again, um, maybe it comes down to a question of knowing how to be happy for a long time, right? So, I mean, it, it's being grateful for what you have every day, you know, working really, really hard on focusing on being happy and not getting down. Maybe it's just hard, hard work and people aren't happy for a long time because they're lazy. Could that be the case or is that not the case? Is there something about human nature that says it will never be? Uh, is, it, is there any relation between, between if someone hard worker or lazy or the happiness itself, I think it's not. Okay, uh, no. Happiness is just something that's meant to be for you or for me. And a specific amount that you will get uh, a new life, no more, no less. Mm -hmm. I think it's, it's been designed to be like that for us. It's by God. <laughs> uh, okay. Some people don't work. Who was with my uh, was my classes in the university? With, who were very crazy and uh, uh, yeah, they 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 have they, you don't have any idea. They have, they don't they don't have a clue about their specialty. They have nothing in, in the world, but they have got the luck that goes them or design their future in a way that is let's say, much happier than others of my class who were very hard worker and excellence, but it's just designed like that. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, I'm not going to judge anyone, uh, future or uh, anyone, uh, fortune, anything, but I think uh, if someone uh, did something and tried his best, it's just appealing that you did you, what you have to do, you, do, you did your part. Mm -hmm. And this is an experience. If you fail, it's experience. If if you make it, it will be, a, let's say, achievement. Mm -hmm. in both in both ways, you are getting wiser. You are getting, uh, let's say, you have more knowledge in life. In future, you will have ability to evaluate everything and give everything the right value for it. I'm not going to get very high expectation for something. At the same time, I'm not going to lower the value of something that is very valuable. So, how to give the value for everything in your life is something that is not, uh, is not going to be taught or teach by someone, uh, let's say your father or your mother. It's something you get it from your life, from your life. So, the, the, uh, the point is, the more you fight in this life, the more you will learn how to give the values for everything. Right now I'm not going to give a value for my laptop because I know for sure that this laptop is going to sometime to collapse or to have some problems. Mm -hmm. But in the same time I'm not going to lower my expectation from it because I'm really trust that I have been uh, working on or what 
what I have been, let's say when I, when I uh, purchased this device, I tried my best. So right now, um, the value of this device for me is because I get high expectation for uh, its features. Mm -hmm. So everything is depend on, it's, the problem is how we put value for everything in our life. I think religions and uh, let's say moral uh, ethics and other things, when they told you that something is right or don't expect too much from people, don't expect too much from blah, 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 blah. It's all rules. If you use it or think about it, then it will be very helpful to evaluate everything. If you just want to take a risk and to make your advan uh, adventure, then it's your risk when you, you are on your own. And you will get with unhappiness at the end of the day because you fall in trap of let's say, more, uh, too much expectation, let's say, uh, disappointing, everything will be happening because you don't evaluate everything in its right value. Especially people, evaluating people is something that is not easy to say, you can't learn it in a simple way, it just you can gain it by experience. But, but, but bro, I have a question, just a question arising when, when you do talk about the about the whole thing that uh, according to you in the world which is the happiest happiest person right now according to you uh, what, what did you say I say what that you... according to him which is the, right now which is the happiest person in the world because I think that there is a right now if we going to ask with the every person then everyone have told him that that is not unhappy for, with their lives. So I, I think that there's a right now, no one said that I am totally happy with my life and lo it's my long life happiness. Oh, okay, so, so you're saying that, that, that there might be some people that would say that they're happy, they have lifelong happiness? There are very less, I think, there's not, there are very less people. Uh -huh. But, but they, there could be people, or there are people. Yeah, there are the people okay. just like the, I have seen at the sand people, sand and beggar, which have uh, no control their desire, which have no priority for work. Just, they have just wake up on every day, just like a new day of, our li of his life, and just spend that day like at the last day of his life. So that, right. that might be the reason behind that. For happiness. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so, so maybe again, there there are some people that can yeah. have it, right? I, I, go, going back there, kind of with what Iman has started. Maybe though, um, so maybe people. Some people are, are designed or they're meant to be that way. Some people, if we talk about maybe as far as genes, right? Um, when you look yeah. at babies, some babies are born with with happy personalities. Some babies are born yeah. with very angry, sad personalities. And then you see that personality the rest of their life, right? You can have a very happy, thoughtful person. You can very have a very um, sad person. You can very have angry person. And maybe, maybe the amount of happiness that a person can have or is capable of having is something they are born with, right? So maybe. I was born to be happy a certain amount, and maybe someone else was born to have a lesser or a greater amount than me. Exactly, you are right. Especially for if you look at the twins, uh, mm -hmm. they are really sometimes different personalities. Mm -hmm. Also, but is a uh, some people really, but also depends of luck. Some people really born is happy because some people really born is a really good circumstances. I mean, is a wealthy family. But on the other hand, some people really born in a bad circumstances, in a in a, I mean, bad way. I mean, maybe war zone or something like that. You know, it's you can, you you this people for that people is really uh, too difficult to be happy. Mm -hmm. I mean, also you can. I mean, <laughs> okay. oh, bless, bless you. <laughs> sorry, keep going. Okay. So I, I mean, right now there's a I think that the that is the whole thing right now there's a research question because to being a happiness right now in my university there's a research going on to develop the pneumatic gene to be a happiness or 
flower around that so it's a totally a research work when we talk about that thing but yeah apart from that it's uh, i am agree with you that the if the two twins bb have born out they have sometimes the different personality have at a time And also low expectation doesn't mean it's happiness again. It's a low expectation like uh, religious beliefs. Religious beliefs is try to, all religious uh, try to restrict your happiness because I mean if you look at the yeah, all uh, religious it try to restrict all your happiness because all religious or leaders are like a preach you can hear uh, low expectation. Low expectation is means a uh, gratitude doesn't mean happiness but for some people it's possible it's a happiness but you can you, you can't say for everybody you can't uh, put in the same basket in a everybody thoughts right. yeah, again, yeah. I, I think that, that that's, that's interesting because again I think someone could say yeah religion stops someone from being happy right and I, and I think you might have another argument with say no um, it's teaching you how to be happy in the right way. You know, uh, um, there was Anselm, a great religious philosopher. He said that the only truly way to be happy would be to know God. Right? The reason we can't ever truly be happy here on Earth is because we're not with God. Right? So that would be a way that someone would, would take that argument. Yeah. So, one more, one more thing. Sorry to really interrupt you. One more thing. Is it? Is it sometimes really high expectation also doesn't change your life? make the, uh, I mean uh, don't make you really happy for mm -hmm. instance imagine yourself you win the Nobel Prize mm -hmm. your first day you are really happy yeah I won the Nobel Prize but maybe you won is this uh, I mean if you win the second if second time you are not really happy because is a uh, things around you is the same mm -hmm. because your wife your your kid is not respect you anymore like no, no, that doesn't change anything around you it's high, high expectation doesn't change your life really. It doesn't make, I mean, any difference. You can win the Nobel Prize, but your kids still not respect, not respect you in the house. Right, right. So again, maybe again, there's, there's many different things that would contribute to, yeah. to happiness. Yeah. So Being let, a let, me ask, let me ask you guys another question just before we finish here. Um, so if we talk about the twins, right, or, or personalities, being born personalities, can, can we change our personalities, right? Can people become different people? Possible, if you look at on that way. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, think a popular man, yeah? Some popular man, I think, is, a, is it possible to be uh, this man popular er everywhere? If you put, uh, for instance, uh, imagine a popular man in our society, if you put that man in the prison, in the dead man become popular in prison? Is it possible? I, I'm sorry, what? I can't understand that, Wolf. I mean, he's a popular guy, yeah? He's a popularism, he's a social guy. Think a social guy, he's very popular around, mm -hmm. he's very, everybody likes him in the, mm -hmm. in, 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 uh, in the society, I mean. But if you would put in that guy in the prison, do you believe this, this guy still be, be popular in prison? Because different circumstances, prison and real life. Because this That's man true. really, this man is really social in real life. But yeah. if you put in the prison, because the characteristic is same, it doesn't change. But just environment, environment change, is it affect the characteristic? No, I think that's a good point, Wolf. Yeah, because I think again, environments can change someone for sure, right? Um, maybe that that person outside of prison is going to act differently than you would in the prison. I, I think I've told you guys this before. When I lived in Brazil and was learning to speak Portuguese, I didn't think I was very funny. I think I'm, I'm funny in English, right? With my friends, I think I can be funny. But when I speak Portuguese, I think I'm a lot more serious. And so at, at that circumstance change my personality. So again, yeah, maybe there's things that can change. So again, maybe a certain circumstance or environment could make us have lasting happiness, and maybe if we're not in an environment, we can't have lasting happiness. Maybe? I think time don't change people. Time just reveal people uh, real natural. 
it will make uh, it will make the hidden in the ups, uh, up, yeah it's just reveal their uh, real nature mm -hmm. yeah and okay. the hard sort circumstances will discover uh, will make it easier to discover some more nature okay that's good okay uh, listen you guys um we're up, we're finished time already, so if anyone wants to go to the next class, um, you guys can. I'm going to go ahead and we're going to talk just a short little longer and then I'm going to shut it down. Um, here is my Facebook Berlin page. Go ahead and follow me. Um, I will update on that. Thank you guys for coming to class. You guys were awesome. Um, but if you guys want to stick around and talk a little longer, we're going to talk just a tiny bit longer. Okay, I'm going to end the broadcast now, though. Okay. Okay, thank you guys for coming. <laughs>